You already know what time it is. It's your boy Zaya Ben. Today, by the title of this video, you already know what's happening. So don't act surprised. We got the Jordan 1 Pine Greens. All right, so let me tell you how I got these. Not a hard shoe to get. It wasn't too limited like the Pine Greens, the 2019 Pine Greens. All you have to do was either hit your local raffle or first come, first serve. How I got mine, I hit a raffle. I didn't really try like that. I just put it in because my main focus was the Travis Scott's and trying to get them and some other stuff that was also happening in the background. The alert popped up on my phone and said, you won. I said, oh, okay picked them up that was it and now i'm here unboxing so we managed to get a size eight and a half these costed about 170 plus tax was about like 15 dollars extra so it came out to be like 185 is some cents let's get right inside the unboxing look check it out not a bad shoe at all looking at the shoe Definitely good quality. Nice leather all around the shoe. Let's take a more in-depth look at the pine green ones. If we take a look at the front of the shoe, green toe box. Look at the lip around the shoe, it's black. Moving on to the side of the shoe, lace guards, black. The middle of the shoe is also black. The check is the same green. Now looking also at the midsole, the midsole is all white. Looking at the bottom of the shoe, all green. Now, one thing I wanna tell you guys that sometimes, well most of the time on all ones, the Air Jordan sign is stitched in. This is not stitched in. This is more like a patch and the patch is stitched in. So the emblem is kind of sticking out in this shiny black material but it's leather. Moving on to the back of the shoe, we can see that the heel is green. There's a little bit of black right here where the ankle goes. Moving on to the other side of the shoe, the same pattern. The shoelaces are black. The tongue is also all black. The emblem on the tongue, all leather with Nike Air in red writing. This shoe also came with one accessory, red shoelaces. Also looking at the inside of the shoe, all black, but the Nike Air symbol on the heel of the shoe is all red. All right, time to take a look at the other shoe now. Comparison between the right shoe and the left shoe, there is no pattern difference between the two. They're both identical. Now it's time to take an up close look at both the shoes together. Here's the front of both shoes. Here's the side of both shoes. Here's the back of both shoes. Here's the other side of both shoes. Here's the bottom of both shoes. Here's the top view of both shoes. Now it's time for an overall review. So the shoe is actually not bad at all. Very good job on these shoes. One out of 10, they are a 8.75 out of 10. Why? The reason why I give it 0.25 off is because of this ugly Nike Air Jordan sign on the side. It is not supposed to be like that. Matter of fact, I'm taking it down to 8.50. It's not ugly, but it just needs just to be stitched in regularly. It's throwing the shoe off. Like, I don't know if it's just because I'm used to the ones how they used to be, but um, this patch stuff, like whatever, like whatever this is, they need to take that off and just traditionally just make the ones like they've been making the ones. Other than that, the green is cool. I like the green. It's like the perfect green. Not too light, not too dark. But anyway though, did you like my review? Did you not like my review? Go ahead and let me know in the comment section. What do you think on the shoe? And if you really want to show some love, love, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel and share it with a friend. Appreciate it a lot. Anyway though, it's been your boy's eye. See ya. Oof.